Yo guys, it's Sario and today we are back playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Uh, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because today I'm going to try and see if I can beat the Meadow Shrine. I don't know if I can, but uh, I am going to give it a go. I have done some more grinding. I do not have a Meteor Black Dragon, but I can tell you what I do have. I do have a chance. Now I am going to need the Meteor Black Dragon to win, but I think as long as I can get it onto the field with one uh, power-up, then I will be able to win. Uh, so some things that I do have, uh, I do have a Skull Knight, which is sick. I love this card. It's also really strong. You can get this from the Meadow Mage, uh, which is where I got it. I would love to get multiples uh, of it if I can, but we'll see. I do have my three Dark Magicians. I got myself a second Red Eyes Black Dragon from uh, Jonah the Second, but still no Meteor Black Dragon. But I have two Red Eyes Black Dragons, uh, three Guy of the Fierce Knights. Um, I have some other things. This Firewing Pegasus is new, which is a, a pretty cool card. Uh, I have a Curse of Dragon, which is also really cool, and you can fuse that with Guy of the Fierce Knight to make Guy the Dragon Champion, which is also very cool. Um, and, uh, um, 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 I have a, a second Meteor Dragon, which I think I already had, but because I have two Meteor Dragons and two Red-Eyes Black Dragons, I actually have the potential to make two Meteor Black Dragons, uh, as well as on the last time I got the Dragon Treasure and Bright Castle Equip cards. So, if I can get Meteor Black Dragon and one Equip card, I will be strong enough to beat the High Meadow Mage, and so I'm going to give it a go. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work, it does require some luck, but I am going to try and just see how it goes. So let's go ahead and try, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it works. Uh, if it does, then, you know, congrats, you're probably watching this video. Uh, if not, then this probably never made the light of day. So, <laughs> I'm like I said, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but this is like probably one of the strongest decks I've ever had, and literally if I just had, if I could have like two Meteor Black Dragons, I think I would start uh, challenging the end game right now. I think I could use some more magic cards, uh, which I do want to try uh, doing, but uh, until that, until then, I'm going to keep trying for Meteor Black Dragons, uh, try for some magic cards every now and then. But we do have to go back through the Meadow uh, Shrine again, including the Low Meadow Mage. Slyro, uh, you won't win this time. Oh, he remembers that I beat him last time. Okay. But I do have to beat him again. Uh, so this is just the normal low metal mage. I know the normal low metal mage like the back of my hand. Uh, like I know him inside and out. I know his tricks. He's not going to start turn one playing Sagan anymore, uh, which is unfortunate. But he does not have anything stronger than a Gaia the Fierce Knight, at least to attack. He could put the Millennium Shield in defense mode, um, which he did not. So we are probably good. I'm going to go ahead and just play Dark Magicians, I honestly must just get an S-rank on the story fight. If I actually would get, like, a Meteor Black Dragon in, like, the story dual drop, I would 100% go back, save it, uh, put that in my deck, and then just do this again. There's such a low chance of that happening, but that would be hilarious if that's what ended up happening. Because unless he stops me right here, which, no, he's not going to, uh, we should win this turn, actually. Uh, I'll put one of Mars just in case I'm misremembering something, you know. That's a Mars there, so that's... I don't even know what that is. Oh, Garuzi's right. And this should uh, hit, hit the 5200. We got our S rank in, in like a two turn duel. So we'll see if I get a good card out of this. If I do get a really good card, I will back out, put it in, and then start over again. Uh, oh, a normal Meteor Dragon. Is that worth saving for? I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. Uh. I'm actually, I'm actually going to return. I'm actually going to return. The only reason I do that is because I think that ups the chances of me being able to make the Meteor Black Dragon, like, fuse into it. So now I'll have a third Meteor Dragon in my deck. Um, so I'm going to go to the card shop. I'm going to build my deck, and I'm just going to replace a different dragon with this Meteor Dragon. Uh, so I'm going to take out the Blackland Fire Dragon, and I'm going to put in this third Meteor Dragon. Now I have three Meteor Dragons in my deck. I'm going to make sure to save it, and we're just going to do that again. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine, like, I keep trying to go to the High Mage, but I just keep getting good cards, and so this whole episode is just me going back into the Shrine, beating the Meta Mage over and over again. It's just, like, a way longer way of doing a free duel. <laughs> oh gosh. Yay, I, I am going to win this time. You literally cannot beat me. My cards are way too strong for this guy. He's got nothing on me. But right, go ahead. Do your worst. Um, I will... I'll do this. If I put Dark Magician out in Mercury, there's only one card that he has that can beat me, which is an Empress Judge that has 2600 attack with the Saga Boost. But anything else, I would be strong enough to beat. So that is going to be a Sword Stalker. 
that is in face down uh, position. So we will make some Crimson Sunbirds. I have the ability to make two in my hand. So uh, if that is the Sword Stalker like I think it is, I think the defense is either 2,000 or 2,200. 2,100. I literally <laughs> got everything around it. So this is a less clean fight, So, but I, I still might be an S rank if he doesn't kill me. But he'll probably kill the Crimson Sunbird. He has a lot of cards that can do that. No. Uh, the fact that he put it in defense position like that... Uh, means that it could be either a Swamp Battle Guard, Lava Battle Guard. It's probably one of those two, so I'm actually going to attack with the Dark Magician. I can't win this tar turn anyway. Succubus Knight, I think that's literally the first time I've ever seen the Meta Mage play that. Uh, so, he's just going to play weak cards, and then I'll win next turn. So, I don't expect to get anything amazing out of this, because it took me, like, four turns to win. But who knows... I've been surprised before. Also, now he's just played uh, something in defense. But uh, hold on, no, no, no. He's playing weak cards. He's playing weak cards. It, 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 it has to be. It cannot be a Millennium Shield right now, can it? Okay. I was like, he was playing. He played a weak card M most of the time. If he plays Millennium Shield, it's going to be turn one or two, and he didn't do that. So there we go. We get a win. The thing that sucks is, like, I have, like, three Meteor Dragons, three Dark Magicians, three Guy of the Fierce Knights, so I can still get a good card from him and still not be able to put it in my deck. I actually have a fourth Dark Magician that I just can't put in my deck because I have, like, too many now. Uh, but alright. Weather Control, I have, like, a billion of them. Uh, you'll regret this victory. You'll be facing the power of High Mage Kapura. I'm, I might regret this, but I'm gonna try. I am the Guardian of the Plains. I am High Mage Kapura. You are the Protector of Light, the owner of the Millennium Puzzle. Our Millennium item is not for the likes of you. It must never be yours. I hate the way this guy looks. It is pretty awful. The Millennium item is Master Hyshins and our key to world domination. First I will defeat you, then I will take your Millennium Puzzle and offer it to Master Hyshin. Prepare to defend yourself. I'm gonna be so mad if he doesn't even, like, uh, use the Gate Guardian. But yeah, that's my 13th weather control. So, that's how my life is going when I fight the Meadow Mage. But yeah, the Gate Guardian is the biggest threat, so it, uh, my strategy is make the Meteor Black Dragon as fast as I possibly can. Hmm. I may, I may, I may regret this, but I actually want to keep the Umi in my hand. Just because there may be a way. I kept that in attack on the off chance that he doesn't play Gate Guardian here. But he did. Oh, that's a Black Squall Dragon. That's actually a little different. Interesting, 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 interesting. Hmm. So, 32 plus... Will he be able to kill me next turn? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know how to math. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I think this works the way I think it will. And I'm gonna hope that he doesn't kill me and hope that... Of the next two cards, I draw a Thunder Monster, and then I can take out the Black Squall Dragon. But this definitely proves that I have the ability to beat him. I just need the right cards to do it. The two Black Squall Dragons. If I can make a Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, I can at least hold him off for now. Or a Meteor Black Dragon. Hold up. Hold up. We've changed the field, and we have to do our advantage. Even if he plays a Gate Guardian now, we're actually in the clear. But... The fact that he has a monster on the field means that he could play a magic card to destroy my Meteor Black Dragon. I don't know if he does that, but I do know that there are duelists that do that. Uh, he did not, though. But I do need to be very careful with what I play. Um, like, in most instances, I would play the Dark Magician, like, in attack mode. But I'm, like, a little worried that uh, that's not going to be, like, good enough. I'm going to just, like, make something like this and sort of, like, bait him to attack. I'm worried about what that uh, face down card could be. Like it might be something like a wall shadow, which has like 3000 defense. So I don't want to attack with anything that might lose me life points. I might regret playing passively, but okay. Swords revealing light. That gives him some time. Yeah, he didn't attack. So that definitely makes me think that uh, that is exactly what happened. But I'm just gonna have to power up and hope that he doesn't like Rageki or something crazy. I don't really know this guy's deck in terms of his magic stuff and how often he does that, but. Um, alright, he turned it back to Sogan. That's not as good for me. I actually need to power up the Meteor Black Dragon as soon as I possibly can now. Um, let's... 
these cards are not going to be all that useful to me. So I'm going to get them out of here and put Guy the Fearsome Knight on the field. Man, I have a chance. I have a chance. I'm worried about keeping these in attack mode. But I'm going to hope that he goes a little bit weaker now that it's like turn 4 or 5. But I don't know. Yeah, Sari. Okay, alright, alright. This is good. This is a good sign. Uh, We'll make... So that's... That's Moon. I'm going to make another Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. We're going to keep it in Pluto. I can't attack, which really, really sucks for me. I think on the next turn I'll be able to. Just need to hold off until then. I think that's another one. I think it's literally just two Sayaryus right now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bank on that being Sayaryu. I actually am gonna put the Dark Magician out. Well, I mean I can just take that out with this, right? Then I use the Meteor Dragon to take this out. I think this is a Wall Shadow. Boom. We needed that. We needed that. Uh, and then here... That's Sun, so I mean, I'll do this just to be safe, but I think it's another Sayaryu. Or Kaiser Dragon, even weaker. Perfect. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He's, a, he's not in a position to, to win anymore. What actually sucks now is... I don't know if he plays this way, but he could bring out a Gate Guardian and kill my Meteor Black Dragon because I decided not to power it up. Which would be the worst case scenario. And I think that would mean that I basically lose, but he did not do it, so we're fine. We are perfectly fine. So now we're going to do it anyway, just to show I have the ability to beat all these duelists. Um, I should also share, I'll prove it in Free Duel, that I did beat Haishin once. So it, 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 it can be done. Maybe I'll try and do it on, uh, on screen here because I'm not going to be able to make any more progress in this game right now. Um, but we have beat all the mages. Oh my gosh. Swamp Battle Guard. Sure, whatever. I cannot believe it. We did that. So this is the power of light. I should, my lord. I have failed you. Good. We get the Millennium Eye. Fantastic. Sire, you actually defeated the High Mages. Oh, that remains this Haishin Shrine of Darkness. Oh, you can't go there directly. You must return. Go back to the Vast Shrine. Alright, so the Vast Shrine is where we're going to go next, but I'm going to wait until I'm like actually prepared to uh, do some stuff. So, I... Uh, to fill out the rest of this episode, uh, because now this is officially an episode that is going to be uploaded, uh, I am going to go ahead and make sure I save my progress, first off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, and I'm going to do a, uh, a couple free duels. So, uh, first, I guess to just to do it on screen, to prove that I can do it, I'm going to try to see if I can beat uh, Haishin. I beat him one time and, and lost twice, but I'm going to see if I can do that just to, just to show you how far that we've come. Um, again, it basically is going to involve the, the Meteor Black Dragon, though. So we'll see. I can also do it with a powered up Twin Hunter Thunder Dragon, but Hajin uses a lot more magic cards. So we're going to kind of do something like this and see like what he starts with. I'm going to have to put this in defense mode and see. If I can get the upper hand, then I don't need to worry about his magic cards that much. Um, he also will play trap cards and stuff as well that I need to watch out for. Uh, that's probably a Black Soul. Trihorn Dragon. Okay, so not quite. Uh, that 2850 is a rough thing to hit and with moon i don't have anything that i can put in sun uh so yeah that's actually a little annoying uh i don't think the dark magician is actually going to be all that helpful so i'm just going to get them out of the way i want to keep the other ones because uh if i can power up the skull knight i can be good um or if I could be, if I can get red eyes and make the beat black dragon, then I'm good. And Genjin, I don't like that card as much. Tri-Horn Dragon is pretty cool though. I am a fan of that one. Uh, this this works. So I'll make the the Wind Hunter Thunder Dragon and power it up, and then I will use it to take out the Trihorn Dragon because if he uses a magic card against me, I can still just make another one to take out some Genjin. So we'll see. We'll see. He's probably gonna he'll probably do like a crush card or like a shadow spell. He does stupid stuff like that. Oh, he's gonna fuse. What? Like a twin headed thunder dragon like that? Okay. Well, how did that work out for you? Uh here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Uh we'll go. We're gonna go Mars on this one. 
So I know, uh, based on the two duels that I lost uh, to uh, to Haishin, I know that he can bring out the perfectly ultimate Great Moth, which is a 3500 attack, and it's Jupiter. So the Meteor Black Dragon and Mars will actually be super effective and kill it. So now that I have the upper hand, I actually think that I'll win this, and uh, I can prove that I've come far enough that I can beat Haishin. So that is pretty freaking sick. Uh, I will... I mean, I'll, I'll put out the Squall Knight for now. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Now that I have the Meteor Black Dragon on the field, it's uh, pretty much an easy win for me. I have to attack with the uh, Twin Head Thunder Dragon because I think it might be a Wall Shadow. Yep. But it had to be over 3,000. The Squall Knight was not going to be powerful enough. Which is okay because I wasn't going to win this turn anyway. And so now, we just have to wait one more turn and then I can show you how far I have come. I might finish off this episode with a couple uh, free duels against the Meadow Mage to try and get a Meteor Black Dragon drop on recording, um, but I don't expect it to happen. So that is going to be the rest of the time. You get a little bit more insight as to as to my life and uh, <laughs> what I'm going through trying to get this Meteor Black Dragon drop. But uh, there, we beat Haishin. And you can get some good cards from Haishin. The problem is I can't consistently uh, get an A or S rank against him. Um, so, and getting low ranks against him aren't going to get you good cards. But I think Haishin also drops the Meteor Black Dragon. I think he drops Twin Head of Thunder Dragon. Um, and some other, uh, Zoa, which is like 2600 attack. Uh, he drops some stuff like that. But, yeah. So, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to do a couple free rolls against Meadow Mage and just hope for, for, uh, a nice and clean Meteor Black Dragon drop. But, I don't know. I, I don't expect at this point. I feel like there must be some sort of secret requirement that I have to fulfill that I'm just, like, not fulfilling. But, like, I don't know what to do to fulfill it, you know? So we're just gonna put out Guy in the Fierce Knight. He's gonna play Sogan. He's gonna power me up. It's gonna be great. And then I will uh I'll go ahead and I can actually make Guy the Dragon Champion right now, but uh it would actually make my attack weaker because, you know, that's not gonna benefit from the meadow field. I'll probably bring out something to take out the Flame Swordsman, but I don't really care. I'm kind of hoping he does that instead of playing, like, a Millennium Shield. Perfect. I can lose some life points and I can still get an A rank out of it. Actually, I can still probably get an S rank if I win this turn. Uh, yeah. Especially if I do this. I'm telling you, like, Meet of Black Dragon is just, like, the way to victory. But it's all just dependent on if I can actually do that. Like, if I can actually bring it out consistently. Because the problem with the end game, uh, the end game you have, I think like five, five or six duels like in a row, and you need to beat them back to back to back. So if you cannot consistently bring out your best cards, then one bad fight is just leads to to you losing. So that's sort of the problem there. But yeah, it's my fourth silver thing. So fun stuff. Now we just go back to back. I might do a fight or two against Jono, uh, just to see if I can get something from him as well. We will bring out the Wind Head of Thunder Dragon. I'll go... I'm gonna go Pluto on this one, just because I have a Raigeki in case he puts out what I think to be a Millennium Shield. Which... He did not. That is a Moon. So... Well, actually, now I'm just going to cover my bases. I'm just going to make a Twin Hunter Thunder Dragon and put this one in Moon. And so now I'm covered on both fronts. But he did not play Sogan. So he's basically just accepting defeat at this point. Alright. What do you got What do you got for me this time? That is not going to be good enough. Uh, I'll make sure that I'm strong enough to, to beat it. Because that could be a, a defense of, like, 2,000. Uh, no, actually, no, I don't, I don't think it can. Actually, probably could have just put the Skull Bird down without fusing. But I'm pretty sure this is an S-Rank regardless, so I don't think it matters. The number of fusions may affect what you can get. I have no idea. There's probably a bunch of little hidden factors, but whatever. Yeah, this, this Metal Mage just, just is, like, not give me anything. Please. Give me something. I should see what sort of cards I can get from Seto the Second as well. Although I, you know, it's probably the same sort of thing as Hyshin, where it's like if I can't get ARS ranks, then it doesn't really matter. Um, let's, yeah, let's be ready 
for for him to play play Sog and, and be ready to, to fight against it. Perfect, perfect. And then we can do one of these things. The reason that this equip card is in the deck, it powers up the Dark Magician and the Skull Knight. And we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we have the field advantage. That way he can't play anything against me. And then hopefully I can just win in like two turns. I am worried about that. I am not worried about that anymore. We're going to use our weakest dragon for this. Because I believe that is a Millennium Shield. We make sure to do it this way. And we cannot be stopped. And the plan is all coming together. Next turn I can just play whatever I feel like. I won't fuse. I'll play it face up and I should get an S rank out of it. Although the fact that I played two magic cards could give me an A rank. But the rewards should not matter. I could make a meter black dragon but I won't. Oh no! He's strong, but not strong enough. Oh gosh, all right, and then I'm just gonna do like a duel or two against Jodo the second and just hope for something. Yeah. I mean, this is like, and I'll show you, I'm actually, I actually think I'm like halfway towards, uh, towards getting an, uh, another 800 star chip so that I can just get another equip card. Um, which that also might be something I do is like, I can just stack equip cards all throughout my deck, like, that might be uh, an option for me. I'm going to see if I can bait him into attacking. Jonah doesn't have anything stronger than 2400. I always have to reprogram my brain between uh, Jonah mode and Meadow Mage mode. Oh, big mistake. Nice try. I'm going to try and beat Jonah without fusing now. Because I don't think I need to. He didn't play the Red Eyes first turn, so he's probably not going to. Although it is possible. He could sometimes play second turn. But if he doesn't, then it's an easy win next turn for me. So it's like, oh man, it's so easy to like do these duels and like get wins and get S ranks and get A ranks, but like I'm just not getting the things that I need. And I'm gonna win with the power of two cards. Guy of the Fierce Knight and the Dark Magician. Kneel before me, Jono. You have been utterly destroyed. Rainbow Flower, hooray. I'll do, a, I'll do another duel against him. And then I will probably wrap it up. And then who knows how long it'll take for me to get to the end of this game. I really don't think that I should challenge the, the end of the game without having stronger magics, stronger traps, or media black dragons. Um, I'm going to do the exact same strategy. Let's go. Come at me. Hopefully he does. Yeah. Nice try. But he did start out with the red eyes this time. Uh, sure. Let's let's go full force in attacking. Always oh, mix up how you do it. I feel like there are like secret factors. Is like, oh, if you use a magic card, or if you fuse, or if you don't fuse, or if you do this and do that. I don't know. I just don't know how to unlock different cards. I feel like I just get the same card over and over again, and it's just like so annoying. Uh. Last face down. I do like that I'm like constantly drawing the ability to make a Media Black Dragon. That does give me hope for the future, but yeah. I also wish it was easier to get specific equip cards because they're very hard to uh, to obtain. But it is what it is. Oh! oh baby! Oh baby! Oh baby! Yo! <laughs> Hold on, let's be very careful about this. I always am worried that the game, uh, that my controller is going to back out of this menu before I save it. It is there. Oh, baby, look what we have. Oh my gosh, finally, finally, finally. Wow. Wow, it has been completed. I am still going to try and go for another one, uh, whether it be a drop from, from Jono or uh, from, from the Middle Mage. I'm still going to keep trying to get another uh, another one, uh, as well as now that I can play this from my hand, I might have an easier time um, 
getting uh, S S techs against like stronger uh, duelists and whatnot, uh, like making them run out of cards and whatnot. Um, that is uh, a thing. But let's put that in our deck. What do we take out? What do we take out? What are some of our weaker cards that like don't fuse very well? I'm, I'm thinking of maybe starting to take out some of these wing beasts because I don't think the Crimson Sunbird is like where it's at anymore. Um, so I think like taking out the uh, probably taking out like this this card. Yeah, I'm gonna start taking this out, and then as I get like more cards, I'm probably gonna start taking out like Dissolver Rock, uh, Skull Red Bird, maybe the Skull Bird. This Abyss Flower probably doesn't need to be here for much longer. I don't even know why the Abyss Flower is right here. I probably have stronger plants. Um, if I really want that in there to make like the the Black Dragon Jungle King, which is basically its only use right now, then I don't really need that. Uh, but yeah, I might actually do that really quick. Uh, let me find the the plant section. It doesn't really matter, but uh, where that? Where that? But this is actually huge because now I can play a Meteor Black Dragon for my hand. I have the ability to make two other ones, so that's like. That is really, really huge. Um, oh, I also have that ancient tree like still in there. Do I really not have like a strong plan? I have, I have Trent. Yeah, all right. It doesn't really matter. And then I just have a bunch of these. I have a couple of trap cards. This is for uh, uh, attack of 500 that will get destroyed. It's visible wise for 2,000. And we're at the end game. Oh, I also got this ritual card that, like, I think I've explained. Rituals are awful. You need to get, like, three specific cards on the field in face-up position or something like that. Have them not die. And then, like, play this ritual card to get, like, a slightly better card. But it's, like, impossible to pull off. And I've literally never, never done it. Um, oh, I did get this magical labyrinth. Metal more. I do have some equip cards. They just don't really do anything for me. That's for, that's what we started with. This is for fairies. Oh, yeah, I need, I need more equip cards. Potentially another Meteor Black Dragon, but we're actually getting closer to at least having a chance of beating the endgame. So, especially with the Meteor Black Dragon, I'm going to try and maybe do some duels against Haishin more, against um, Seto the Second potentially more, and we'll see if I can really just stack my deck full of even better cards. So, I don't know how long it'll be until you see the next upload, but this is super encouraging, and I'm so glad that I actually got it uh, in the recording. So, that is incredible. Uh, also, what I think I was going to show off is I'm at... Uh, 335 star chips, so, uh, not quite. Once I get to 800, I'll be able to unlock another equip card. I can either unlock Salamandra, which equips with the Meteor Black Dragon, or I can, uh, unlock some equip cards that would go with the Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, such as Beast Fangs or Invigoration. Uh, there might be something else as well. So, that's sort of the, the stuff that I'm trying to do, and that is what I'm going to keep doing on the, on the behind the scenes. So, hopefully you're excited for how close I am, because I, I can taste it. I have the ability, I just need the luck. So, who? Uh, give me all your energy, and uh, let's hope for the best, and I will see y'all whenever the next and probably final episode uh, shows up. So, hopefully you're excited for that. If so, let me know, and until the next time, guys, peace out.